Good morning, girls. Okay, uh, welcome to our first HBL lesson. Okay, uh, you may ask, Mr. Ng, how come you dress the same as yesterday? You never change your shirt, is it? No, because today is still Tuesday, right? I'm doing the lesson for tomorrow, right? I'm doing it now for you, okay? I just hope you all will enjoy this lesson, alright? Uh, today, I'm going to teach you, on, uh, we're going to start on a fresh new topic called trigonometry. It's something that uh, you have learned before, okay, in uh, SEC 2, right? Uh, I'll just start with the recap first, okay? Then I'll teach you in SEC 3, what do we have to learn regarding trigonometry, okay? In SEC 2, you always see right angle, triangle, right? Most of, I think almost every triangle that you're working with actually involves a right angle, triangle. So, uh, there was one theorem that you learned in SEC 2 regarding three right angle triangles. Can you tell me what is it? Very good. Huh? In one loud voice again, one loud voice. Tell me what is it again? Very good. Huh? It's called a Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. So what exactly does the Pythagoras theorem state? Some of you may have forgotten. Let me refresh it for you. Okay? Watch here. Huh? <coughs> Over here, let's say I have a right angle triangle. I label the vertices A, this is B, this is C. So by default, huh, we use capital letter for points, big A, big B, big C. The length opposite the point, we normally use small letter to denote it. So if this big A, right, the length opposite it, we call it little a. If this point B, the length opposite it, we normally call it little b. This by default, like by convention, that's what we do it. If this point C, big C, opposite it, we use little c. So what does the Pythagoras theorem state? The formula states that c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. Very good. c squared is good, a squared plus b squared. That's what the formula uh, states, right? But what exactly does it mean? Can you recall what your teacher teach you in SEC 2 regarding what does the Pythagoras theorem, what does it mean? Do you know? Alex, what does the Pythagoras theorem mean? Okay, good try. Uh, let me uh, rephrase it and find you the answer for you. It states that the C is known as the what? Come on, there's a name given for C. The longer side of a right angle triangle, right? The longer side of a right angle triangle, the length is opposite the right angle. There's a name given to it. What is it called? Alex? Very good. It's called a hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse. I call it hypo for short. Okay? So the Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypo is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. Okay? Sum of squares, huh? Please learn this phrase. Okay, sum of squares actually means your a square plus b square, right? Um, in uh, lower set, your teacher probably have mentioned this phrase also, square of sum. Have you heard before? What is the square of sum? Shana, what is the square of sum? Uh, square of sum means a plus b bracket square. Okay, you must know the difference, huh? Sum of squares means a square plus b square. Square of sum means Square of sum means a plus b bracket square. Alright, so the Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypo is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. Is that okay? So does that help you to recall your uh, uh, Pythagoras theorem? I just give a very quick example, okay, just to help you uh, uh, see, remember how you can use it. Alright, example, let's say I have a right angle triangle here. This side here is uh, 6cm. This side here is 8cm. So the question is, can you find x? Can you find x? Uh, don't tell me, oh, there it is. Uh, this is x. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to find the value of x. How do you do it? So you recognize it's a right angle triangle. In set 2, you learn that if I use the, uh, I can actually state the Pythagoras theorem, right? x squared, the square of the hypo, is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. Right? If you sum it up, uh, this is 64. Sorry, 36. Plus 64. So, x squared is equal to 100. So, if x squared is 100, x is equal to 10 cm. Okay? Some of you may ask, uh, uh, Cheryl may ask, Mr. Why do I do a plus minus? Why do I write plus minus? Okay? The reason why I don't write plus minus is because length cannot be negative. So, by default, even if it's negative, I will reject it also. So, when it comes to length, right, many times, mathematicians, we don't write plus minus. Okay, because we know that the negative will be rejected anyways, right? So we just say x equals to 10 cm. 
Is that okay? I'll give you one more example, then I'll move on to today's lesson. Okay, another example. Let's say I have another triangle that looks like this. Okay, so this PQR example. Uh, this is, let's say, uh, 25 cm. This is 24 cm. So now I ask you, find Y. What is the length of Y? Okay, we recognize, we recognize this is a right angle triangle, right? So the square of the hypo is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. So Y square is equal to 25 square minus 24 square. Okay, so take your calculator. That's good math student, right? You might have a calculator always by your side. So 25 square minus 24 square, we have 49. That tells me that if y square equals to 49, it means y must be 7 cm. Is that okay? Right? So uh, this is not today's lesson. Uh, this just have to recall what is Pythagoras theorem. Okay? Now I'll move on to uh, today's lesson on trigo ratio. Okay?